Hi guys, I was just throwing out one of my old rubber band powered cars that had wheels from bottle tops hot glued together. And that reminded me of a little rubber powered toy novelty that I seen on Pinterest using a paper cup. And I'm not sure if this paper cup will be strong enough. So we need to put the rubber band across the bottom and that will crush it. I suppose I could double it up. Yeah, I'll double it up. I expect a larger cup might be stronger anyway, but we'll, we'll go double. On the Pinterest file, they actually draw a face on it and put ears on it so it looks like a little rabbit. But we won't worry about that. We'll just try and do the basics. We need to cut. Just up here, enough to get the rubber band round. So that's going to go across there, probably put a bit of tape on it to stop it coming off. And then on the wheel, because we only need one of these, not both, let's go straight across the outside, a bit of tape around it to hold it in place, and then we just wind it up. Do one first. And judge it so we got it about evenly spread. Now I'll put some tape all the way around just to stop it coming off. Right, so that's our wheel. I will put a link in the video description to the Pinterest file or what you want to call it. It's probably one of those cases where it'd be handy to have rubbed a rubbed, wrapped a rubber band around there as well. This is all we're doing, just winding it up like this. And when we let it go, it will sort of move. Yeah, all right, we'll put it on the floor and see what happens. Uh, how do we even launch this? Well, it sort of worked. <laughs> I hadn't really thought about how you launch it. Right, that's going to be going that way. It's not going as well as it does on the uh, Pinterest video, but I expect they had a few attempts to get a good video out of it.
I think they were also using a slightly smaller bottle cap. Yeah. Not really working, is it? I know what I could have done. I could have filled it with um, modeling clay to make it heavier so it would grip better. But the problem is, how do you release it? Because as soon as I try and put it down, it's, it's going. Yeah. I'll go and see if I've got smaller bottle caps. I'll call it modeling clay. I would call it plasticine personally. Plasticine. Found some smaller caps. And you can probably see that I've jammed them full of the clay so it's heavier. So I'll do exactly the same as I did with that. Rubber band round it, tape round it to hold it in place and then we'll give it a try. Try again. I think a larger cup would be easier as well. You should have more room to move your fingers around and that sort of thing. It's all a bit tight in here. All right, which way is that gonna go? It's going to go that way. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, much better. Just needed the extra weight in there. Give it a bit of grip. We're not going to go five meters with it or anything like that. This is just for a bit of fun. I just wish there was some way I could release it without having my fingers underneath it. <laughs> Got no idea which direction it's going to go in. That was a good run. <laughs> Why are you going that way? Obviously, what I'm trying to do now is hit the camera, because that's what I always do with my rubber band powered cars. <laughs> That'll do, we hit the camera. So in summary, I've got a couple of bottle caps taped together, but before I taped them together, I filled them with plasticine to give them a bit of extra weight. And that helped no end. I think a bigger cup would make life easier, just so you've got a bit more room to work. But it did the job. Link in the video description to the original Hintrest uh, video.